What's up everyone? This is Daniel Khan from Afghanistan with yet another uh, video and today we're uh, doing a story on uh, the drought situation in Afghanistan. It is very very hard as you can see behind me these are fields of uh, wheat and uh, grain and we're also going to be visiting uh, fields of uh, grape wines but uh, it's completely dry the place has run out of water we are at the moment in uh, Makwar in uh, uh, Ghazni province about uh, 110 kilometers from uh, the Ghazni city as far as the eyes can see it is completely dry the place is barren and uh, I can see traces of uh, crops here which have dried up. I'm also going to be talking to the local farmers and ask them about their hardships because uh, just yesterday we went to uh, a nearby village and uh, they said that uh, their grapes had uh, completely, their grape wines had uh, dried up. There was no yield. Let's look at the condition. Traces of dried up uh, water. Uh, this uh, place depends mostly on uh, rain uh, but uh, it has been uh, four years that it hasn't rained uh, properly. And according to the United Nations, uh, about 80% of uh, the population of Afghanistan, which is around 40 million, is going to be facing a very, very harsh uh, winter and uh, drought uh, conditions. Uh, the livestock is in danger. There is no crop. The borders are closed. That's why a uh, majority of the farmers are also suffering. They're urging the government and uh, the bordering countries to reopen the border so that at least uh, they can survive uh, the upcoming winter. This is uh, Mr. Haji Abdullah and he was uh, telling about his uh, grape wines and he said that uh, this water that you can see uh, they have a boring here and uh, they're taking out water from the ground. Uh, he said that uh, uh, 15, 18 years ago, this water level was about uh, 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 five meters below the ground. And now it has gone to 80 meters, which is about 240 feet. The water table has gone down significantly. And he also said that it used to snow and rain on these mountains and uh, these uh, fields were all uh, lush green but uh, since the last uh, 10, 15, 20 years it has not rained and that is why the locals of uh, farmers of the area they are suffering but it is very difficult he has said that uh, many farmers have left and they've uh, taken up odd jobs because uh, they cannot survive in these conditions and uh, uh, over the last 20 years he said that uh, even though they good uh, they did have good yields but at the same time there was so much uh, war and devastation with the foreign occupation that uh, they could not uh, sell their uh, uh, yield Haji Abdullah has said that he has also uh, lost uh, many of his relatives in this war and he has also told me that he has lost many uh, during uh, the drought because people are very poor, they cannot make their ends meet, they do not have apps, they have nothing in their homes, their homes are empty, they don't, just imagine not having the next meal to eat. Just imagine having nothing to eat, nothing to give to your children. 
uh, there are also reports that uh, people are selling off their children just to get bread just to know that uh, whoever buys their children are going to feed them just imagine and just put yourself in their situation and you would understand Haji Abdullah has also told me that he had a small farm of livestock. He had uh, sheep, goats, cows, buffaloes, around about 80 in all. But uh, over these last five years, he had, uh, only three goats remain. And uh, cow just died uh, a few months ago because <clears throat> there was no water. Haji Abdullah has just told me that uh, these mountains that you can see behind me are uh, rich with mineral uh, resources like iron ore and he has also said that there is a reserve of uh, minerals and diamonds and uh, precious and semi-precious stones and there has also been a survey during uh, the last uh, 15 to 20 years by the US uh, and there is a significant presence of minerals. He has also said that uh, 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 between these mountains there is enough uh, space to build at least four dams that can uh, provide water to hundreds of farmers uh, in this valley. So this is uh, the greenhouse and uh, where they've kept the seedlings and the saplings of uh, vegetables. Uh, they've, they've covered uh, them with uh, this uh, plastic sheet so that uh, they don't dry up in this uh, harsh uh, sunlight. Let's go in and see how it, how they grow things. So the vapors I can see, uh, the water is not uh, evaporating and uh, these are tomatoes, spinach and uh, I think corn and I, also, I can also see some uh, salad, iceberg salad, so good way to uh, preserve uh, all these vegetables from uh, drying up. Now we're going to go uh, here where they're taking the water out of the ground, 80 meters down. So this brings me to the end of another tragic video from Ghazni province, uh, once known as uh, the hub of uh, and the heart of uh, grape production from Afghanistan. And this is what remains. Uh, do tune in to CGTN as we travel further south into the country. And uh, this is me, Danyal Khan, signing off. Goodbye.